Hi everyone, Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room, stopping in to tell you hi and let you know what I'm doing today. Well, I am going to kind of make a little uh, collaboration of all my process of my wall hanging quilt. Uh, right now, I just have it up there. Uh, I cut out the pieces and then I put heat bond on the back and traced the design on the back of the heat and bond and cut it out right with the fabric and I have it ironed up there. So I am going to start doing some of the applique on the quilt with the sewing machine. My sewing machine came yesterday and so far it's working good. They claim the only problem is I am not using the correct thread. Uh, they suggest Gutterman or uh, Minerva Mandura, Mandura, and uh, I have this for embroidery, but I don't usually use this for quilting, or I use a cotton, uh, maybe poly cotton. So, I don't know. And then they claim I'm using the wrong needles. So, I'm gonna take their suggestion. So far, it's kind of working. My grandbaby and uh, her mommy and grandma came over to see me yesterday and I let her get on it, play with it a little bit. She's four, but never can start them too young, I guess. But anyway, so I'm going to work on that and show you my uh, some of my applique as I start doing that. But I'm going to be, uh, from here on, I'm going to show you the process from beginning to end. I won't get to show you the complete end of this because I won't be done with it. But uh, what I did is I found a picture that I liked from um, clip art on, online and then I put it on my projector or brought it up with my projector and projected it as large as I wanted and then I traced it out and the only paper I had at the time was some Christmas paper so I just I wanted to see this is my first attempt so I wanted to see how it would work so I just traced the design on the back of some Christmas paper. You can see all the spokes are kind of falling out. But these spokes are done with, um, I don't know if you can see it, they're done with fabric. And uh, after I got the fabric ironed on to the, uh, uh, the heat bond ironed on to a big enough piece of fabric, then I went ahead and traced this on the back of the heat and bond paper. Then I set down the design and I had to cut it in sections in order because I just didn't have enough uh, lar large enough pieces of heat and bond. So, but after I got the heat and bond adhered to the fabric and the design on the back of the heat and bond, I set it down on my mat and I used a rotary cutter to cut in between the lines of each of the spokes. So I just put a little, you know, stuck my rotary cutter in there and it was a little tedious, took some time, but I did it. And uh, then I used scissors to cut, you know, all the smaller lines where the rotary cutter couldn't just make straight cuts. So that's how I did that. Rotary cutter and then scissors around the little more intricate designs. Then I just ironed it on to the backing of my fabric and now I'm going to attempt to do some appliquing it to the fabric. So I'm going to get that down here, get it on my new machine and see how it works and I will take you along and show you. So I'm going to shut the uh, the uh, I'm going to shut the camera off for a second as I get everything set up. And I found this picture. I know it's sideways. But uh, I liked it. I liked it real well. So I took my projector and I traced it on paper. I had some butcher paper for the lamp post, and then I just used Christmas paper the back of it. And so that will be my pattern when I go to cut out fabric and iron on the uh, heat bond and start placing it on a back quilt. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and keep it just like the picture, everything black and make my first one real simple, except for the flowers and the leaves and I'm going to have them a different color. So that was kind of cool. I took that picture, enlarged it and uh, let it project down on the floor and I just drew that out. So I'm excited to see what my first attempt at making an applique K quilt and if this one turns out good oh I got a different bike I want to make I guess I like the old-fashioned bikes so all right I will keep you posted but I've got it all traced out on the back of my heat and press or heat and bond whatever you call it now I'm going to cut this out and uh, pull off the backing and then put it up on my wall and see what it looks like. And I will show you the process that I'm going through or the update. Okay, the lamp post is cut out and I have it not ironed on there, just pinned up there because I wanna put the bike up there. It's gotta go in layers, but I'm liking it. I didn't think I would, but so I am going to proceed with my uh, original plan. So here's what it looks like so far. Here's what I have done so far. It's not uh, down on permanently, but that is what it's gonna look like. I think I'm gonna bring the tree trunk down a little ways. Let me try to zoom in. Might add some more greenery and flowers up on my tree. I added some butterflies. But that is what she looks like so far, and I'm so far very pleased. All right, I'll show you the next progress I get done. I'm using a zigzag stitch and an open toe foot and I'm just taking my time uh, zigzagging this down. So it's not truly, well I guess it is applique but I think of an applique as a satin stitch. So I'm just going from side just on the outside of my design and I get off off a little bit but it's going to be a little slow going that's what the inside looks like I don't know if you can see it I really don't know how I'm going to uh, when I go to oh I got off when I go to quilt this I think I in, in corners I want to stop on the inside. stop on the outside I believe yeah well, it's getting it down there but it's going to be a slow process I think I want to stop right there. Because that's just the bike and I want to do the uh, lamp post 
all by itself in a stitch going up because that's in front of the bike. So, and I think with the uh, spokes, I'm just going to do a large. Yeah, that just does the spokes good there. So I'll just use one zigzag stitch for each sp spoke. Maybe I should go around and do all the spokes now. So, or inside the, probably inside the wheel first, and then the spokes on top of the wheel. But that's how I'm going to do it. I am going to just spend the day trying to get my bike and lamp post done, and then work on my tree. And then, uh, hopefully, I will have this done in a week or so, and I'll be able to show you the uh, end result. But like I said, I'm not certain how I'm going to, when I put it on the long arm, how I'm going to sew um, inside the, the background of the quilt. Maybe just going back and forth as a, as a stitch to get it to the batting and the backing. So, okay folks, that's... That's my tutorial, which I'm, I'm learning on making tutorials. So, but that's it for my first applique quilt that I made from a picture. So I will show you the end result once I get the whole thing completed. But that's how I'm going to applique all around now my bike and my tree and the flowers when I get them on the basket and everything. So. You have a good day. Has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. And I will talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.